So you see, as I'm getting up, I'm not coming all the way to the root and I'm letting this sort of fade out. Hey there, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time it is, wherever you are. My name's Brian Hare, and I am here on behalf of Free Salon Education. Today I'm actually really excited about this class. It's gonna be a quicker one, just because it's not a super complicated technique, but it's one that makes me really happy because for as long as I can remember that since I've been doing hair, I've always been obsessed with Sarah Jessica Parker's color, most specifically her color in relation to Sex in the City. You know, before we knew about money pieces, before we knew about balayage, before we knew about ombre, she was always rocking that kind of look. I decided I wanted to bring it to you guys. It's simple, it's cool, it's effective, and it's really, really pretty. I've got a photo, actually three photos that I picked that I think are just so perfect because it shows the reality of this color. It is gonna be, you know, that lived in balayage kind of look, but that picture on the bottom right there is the one that makes me the happiest because that's where the focus of this is gonna be. That's all, I mean, those two pictures on the right, that's the same outfit, that's the same day. So that's what balayage is, can be, will be, and does look like. So the focus of this is really, really simple. We're going to take out the front hairline and treat that completely different, but the whole back, we're just going to apply highlights to it, how it lays. Because this is an effect that's going to be when the hair is just out and down, it has some lightness going on, focusing on these ends. Not so much in here because you've got whatever natural dimension they have, whether it's from the sun or previous color. We're just gonna kind of leave that and draw all the attention and focus down through the ends. My weapon of choice today, Paul Mitchell, Skylights, the great balayage lightener, play bass. I'm going with 40 volume because it's balayage and that's the only volume I use. All right, we're gonna work with that. Got my palette, got my Bali wrap from Sunlights, got my brushes. I'm gonna section the hair off first. Taking off the hairline knot, you're not wanting a super tiny skinny section, but you're not also taking it all the way back from the high point to behind the ear like you do the four quadrants. And now I want you to actually look at all of this that's left over. Move it around, see where it lives, see where it lies, because we're going to highlight this. So I'm gonna take this as a full vertical section all the way down to the hairline, which for here is right at the ear. And I'm going to paint the face side of it. So up front is gonna be where this gets painted. Give myself a little elevation here. So you see, as I'm getting up, I'm not coming all the way to the root and I'm letting this sort of fade out. But then as it comes down into the hair, I want a much stronger highlight. I'm just gonna gently set that down and then move into my next highlight that's going to be a little bit further down than that one was. So now this will be two sections in the back where I want the highlights the lowest. I'm, you want to be careful not to have them start at the exact same place because that's a pretty large swath of the hair to have a highlight starting at the same spot and you don't want it to look dipped. So that last highlight started up here. So for this one, I'm gonna bring it down much, much lower. Then I see my other highlight started around here. So for this one, I'm gonna bring it off to the opposite side. Now we're moving back into where these highlights are gonna start getting a little bit higher up the head. So I've got this left, so we're gonna divide that into two good sections. That's gonna be my highest one, and then this is gonna be that nice transition to start making it work into that. Now, 
This is where I like to cover this because my sections for around the face, I'm gonna be working back. So I want those highlights to really pop when they're back so that when it's down, it creates that stronger vertical look. So start with the smaller one first. To look at this, I know I want all this being super highlighted coming back, but I want this to be the biggest. This is what makes Sarah Jessica Parker's hair, Sarah Jessica Parker's hair. So this is gonna be highlighted to hell and back. You know, you might look at that and go, oh my God, that's so much. How is that gonna blend with anything? But if you look at the back, it's quite dark. I'm gonna hold it straight back, and then I am going to highlight as much of this section as I can possibly get my little bleach brush on. Then I'm just gonna throw a piece of Bali wrap over that because I wanna make sure that that lightener doesn't dry out because this is what you want to be the lightest. All right, so over here, we're just mirroring what we did on the other side. And then just move up. There's gonna be an extra section on this side because it's the, the stronger side of the part. We're still coming back. Super important money piece, because this is the heavy side of the part. It's on the face. This is where you want to make sure you put all of your precision. very much. Be sure to download our app from freesaloneducation.com. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at wrongarmhairstyle. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm.